I've been fighting these lav clips forever and I'm over it. All right, I did not go get that because I wanted it. I went and got it because I don't like to litter. Seriously though, these things have always given me the biggest problems. Well, I'm putting it on fabric, it's flopping around. I don't know whether I should loop the cord. And even when I get it in a position that I really like and sounds good, I can see it. And that just is not the vibe that I'm going for. So uh, the reason that I'm holding this mic is because I've run out of the thing that I'm talking about, the audio hack that has really, really changed the game for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to B&H, one of my favorite stores in the world. We're gonna buy some. I'm gonna show you how to use them. And then we're gonna go to Times Square, which is obviously a super noisy environment and test them out and see how that works. So here we go. Every time I'm down here, I like pass this sculpture called the uh, the Hive, and I, I just gotta take a second to show it to you. Thank you. All right, <laughs> we're here, B and H. Pray for me. It's definitely hard to get out of here without spending a million dollars. A few moments later. I failed, guys. I went in there. I saw this new release. The Fuji film. It's called an MX5. MX5. Coming soon. I ordered it. So, okay. So, the good news is camera review coming on the way. I did not make it out of B&H unscathed, I tried. But I did get this, the moment of truth. The hack I've been talking about that I'm so obsessed with, and that is the Rycote undercovers. These things are phenomenal. All right, let me show you how they work. Super simple. Open this bad boy here. It comes with two parts. One part is these little sheets of this black felt. The black felt is essentially a windscreen. And the other piece is these sheets of stickies. Now check this out. I take a sticky, super simple. All right, here's my microphone. Here's my sticky. Let's see if I can get this in the camera here. Boom. I just put that sticky right there. Come on, baby, focus now. Boom, right there. Then I take my little windscreen here, right? And I just place it right on top of that sticky, right there. So now I've got my lav mic covered with the little windscreen cloth. Now it's two-sided, so on the other side is, if I take this off, so on the other side is another piece of sticky. So all I do is I take that, I put it up under my shirt. I usually put it like right here. So I just take that bad boy right there, stick it right there, press it down good. There you go, I got my lob. So I just like to stick it on that little crease that's created in your chest. I put it on other people, everybody kind of has that that space there. And you just wanna watch watch out if you have a necklace, you don't want it to bump. I try to put mine high enough because I record with my seatbelt on sometimes. I try to keep it up above my seatbelt. But yeah, it's just right there. It lasts all day long. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff with a clip about the different fabrics or trying to figure out how to loop it. And I'm ready to go. So let's go over to Times Square, see how it sounds. I'm such an idiot. I went and I set up this shot in Times Square and it was freaking out of focus. So 
I put on the same clothes again to go do the Times Square thing. But now I just feel like admitting that I'm dumb. Um, but I am about to reset up my stuff. I brought Callie along. And we're going to go to Times Square and redo this test. So, yeah, let's go. Back in Times Square, the only difference this time is that I think I'm in focus. And uh, I'm just checking it out, seeing how it sounds, seeing how this rye coat sitting under my fleece here. And uh, just curious kind of like what, what it's picking up, how it's sounding, doing a little test. You know, because that's what we do. That's what we do out here. We do a little test. A little test here and there. So one day, we can make the real deal, the big one, the big shabam. But until then, we do these little tests, have a little fun. You know Alright, here we are in another very windy, noisy environment, so it'll be interesting to see how this sounds as well. So the title of the video was the best $3 addition to my video kit, and I want to clarify what that means. The pack that I bought today was 100 pieces and it cost $35, so when you do the math on that, it comes down to about $2.85 a year. For me, I mostly shoot videos by myself, so that's 100 videos that I can make for $35. If you were you know, shooting with one other person, that'd be 50 videos you can make, a, a video every week for $35. And I just feel like the value on that is unbelievable, considering you don't have to deal with the clips and figure out where to put them and figure out how to hide them. I feel like that literally is such a great, great value. Right now I got three helicopters going, I got water going, I got wind going. So if you can hear me at all right now and it sounds relatively natural, is confirmation that these things are really, really amazing. I wanna thank you for watching the video. If this helps you become a better filmmaker, better content creator, do me a favor and hit me up with a subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Dude, there's a cruise ship pulling up. Let me show you this cruise ship real quick. Can you see that thing? Picking up some people in Manhattan probably taking them some real real warm or real nice have fun on your little trip guys